What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys a quick little hack for your Samsung phone or any of your newer Android phones that actually came out courtesy of XDA developers and Droid Life. They reported on it earlier today. Now yesterday, XDA posted this article about Google testing a revamped Pixel launcher that's going to debut with the Google Pixel 3 later this year. Basically, they found some references in some code and they were able to repackage this into an APK that they ran on a OnePlus 5. You can see right here, this is the old Pixel launcher that appeared in Android Oreo and then also a variant that appeared in Android P. Here's the variant I have right here on my Pixel 2 XL, which is running the Android P developer preview one. You can see that the Google logo and the microphone, they're all in one continuous sort of line there at the bottom of the launcher. And then you can actually see the new version here where Google is testing the Google search bar and the voice icon separated from one another. Uh, Droid Life is calling this the double bubble look. So if you like this look, uh, you can actually get it by going to XDA developer forums and then installing the APK that was repackaged. This was posted up um, a couple of hours ago. You can see right here, download the Pixel 2 Launcher modded version 5.2.0. I'll drop a link in the description if you guys wanna check it out. I am running it on my Galaxy S9 Plus right here. You guys can see right there, I've got the double bubble life at the bottom. Also, if you swipe up and go into the app drawer, you've also got the double bubble at the top with the colored Google logo and the colored microphone there. You'll also see that I've got the dark all apps theme installed here. So I'll show you guys how you can enable it. Once you install the Pixel Launcher, which you'll need to, again, download the APK, grant some permissions for unknown sources, go ahead and install that. You can turn that on to be your default launcher. If you go up here into settings and then just go into apps, go to the three dot menu at the top, default apps, and then find home screen Choose Pixel Launcher. You guys can see I have that right there. Samsung Experience Home is the default out of the box. Then you can long press on your home screen. At the bottom you'll see Home Settings. This is where you can tweak some of those customizations. I chose to use the dark theme up here. Enable the built-in dark theme. You guys saw that in the app uh, drawer. Force rounded icons. If you want rounded icons using adaptive icons from Android Oreo. I did that because I like the bed look a little better. It's a little more uniform. You can force a colored Google logo on the search bar at the bottom of your dock. I don't really like that because that's not what it looks like in the version that Google's testing for the Pixel. You can also hide apps. So if you wanna hide apps in your app drawer, this is a really useful feature. If you've got a lot of apps that you don't use very often, you can go in here, get rid of them, especially if you have duplicates, like I'm using Android messages, so I could get rid of the regular Samsung messages so I don't have two messages apps. Very, very useful. So this is the customization that you can do. Uh, all the regular settings are still there for notification dots, add a glance at the top, add icon to a home screen. I like to turn that off. Displaying the Google app so when you swipe over, you can get into your Google Now feed right there. Still all those apps that I've shown off before. Another thing that I'll mention as well that I think XDA and uh, Droid Life didn't comment on is the transparency at the bottom for the dock has been turned down um, depending on the wallpaper that you're using. You can see here on the Galaxy S9 Plus, the transparency has been toned down a little bit in this version of the APK compared to the one that I'm actually running on the Android P developer preview one. I actually like this quite a bit better. You guys can let me know what you think in the comments section below. So not a lot of huge visual changes, but this is something that's likely to come to the Pixel 3. So if you wanna get a sneak peek or you just wanna run a different launcher in your Galaxy S9, it's very smooth so far with no bugs and I personally just like the launcher a little better than Samsung Experience Home. One other thing I want to mention, which isn't a big deal, I wrote up an article over at Gadget Hacks, which will be up soon. You can also get the Android P volume slider if you want by installing an app from the Play Store. So just to mention that really quick in case people are interested in that as well, the app I'm using is called Android P volume. I'll drop a link below to that. All you have to do is buy the app. It is 99 cent paid app and then install it, and then you can get the uh, vertical slider that you have in the Android P dev preview. So if you really want to turn your Galaxy S9 into a pixel a little bit more, you could do these things and uh, get some of the new hotness that Google is dropping. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. You guys can find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter. The link's in the description. You can also find me writing over at gadgethacks.com where I write about Android. Really appreciate you guys checking out the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.